Hello, this is Mike Guilfoyle coming to you from Orlando at the ARC Forum for Infrastructure, Industry, and Cities. And I'm here with uh, Jay Allardyce of Uptake Technology. Hello, Jay, and welcome. Hi, Mike. Thanks for having. Great to be here. Uh, so you've um, experienced a lot of the change that others in the industry are seeing, especially around artificial intelligence, the use of platforms, uh, machine learning. What are some of the things that you are seeing taking place now, and what can uh, users of analytics and artificial intelligence do to digitally transform? Yeah, Mike, it, awesome topic. You know, one of the things I think, you know, myself personally passionate about, and just hearing yourself yesterday and many of our panelists talk, uh, you know, just about the transformation that digital is going through for the heavy industries. There is a big promise around AI and machine learning, but it's not new. AI and machine learning has been around for decades. It is now coming to a point where I think people are finding the value to help improve business outcomes. And a lot of what we're finding within our customer base is they're very interested, but not sure how to apply. And there are, there are unique specific use cases and a lot of folks want to try and then think about where does that go? So probably one of the biggest things we're, we're helping many of our clients understand is the value at an enterprise level and where AI can help to improve business outcomes in the way that they work, depending on the type of industry that they're in. Um, and with that, I think the second thing that is very interesting that's happening across industries is companies are trying to embrace AI and machine learning and, and digital in general of how are they proliferating that across their, their enterprise and their organization and driving that cultural adoption. So I think we're just now getting to that point of really having to think about ways to, to educate uh, and involve and, and really train the workforce um, to embrace it because it's not yet another thing. Digital is not yet another you know, initiative. It is a part of the way you know, clients are going to be working and, and managing their businesses going forward. So one of the things that you just mentioned is the inherent uncertainty, change, and trial and error associated with digital transformation. With that in mind, people have to be unafraid to try new things. What we're seeing with both users and vendors is that there's a complete rethinking of how ecosystems work. You have just partnered with Element Analytics. Can you tell me a little bit about, about why you did that and what you think it will provide your clients? Yeah, so Mike, one of the things that, that you and I, I think have shared uh, in some conversation recently is the way to win any transformation at, at an industry level, not an enterprise company level, but an industry level, is really embracing the ecosystem. And you have to force yourself to be mindful of what you're good at and where you need to lean and leverage others to help advance that. One of the things that's most important for us, so in partnering with Element uh, as, as well as others, is thinking about the way that data to insights becomes seamless in the way that operations work. Because 90% of the challenge that CIOs or IT organizations have is managing disparate data, data lakes, data pools. There's a variety of different statements of how data is being managed. Uh, but oftentimes it's not directly linked to what is the actual outcome that this data is helping me drive for my enterprise. So one of the biggest things in that partnership for us is helping to really streamline that. Being able to go from data to insights and helping a customer deliver top line improvement or bottom line savings is absolutely the name of the game. And so Element's helping us there. But that's just a critical signal, just even more broadly, that we are mindful that we have to be this in, in this industry together, thinking about the technology partners of how to shepherd and more or less help our customers see the value uh, in doing this. Because as you said before, many are fearful. They don't wanna try something and then have it fail. But as a collective industry of technology providers and also advisory, it's up to us to really help to show our clients that, hey, that first step, that phase zero in a broader enterprise transformation, we're all in this together. So to me, that's the thing that's probably the most exciting out of all this. Um, but I know we can't do it without the, without the ecosystem. So you talk about seeing the value. One of the things that people have started to understand around um, analytics is that it's not just a data scientist endeavor. It also includes the subject matter experts. And in fact, the subject matter experts are really critical to making sure that the data science works. One of the things that you've do done in launching your platform is really designed uh, a realistic user experience into that. Can you talk about some of the experience that informed how you designed that? Yeah, so one of the big things at the, the view where many customers wanna say, hey, look, you know what? I have all these systems that I log into and how I manage, do I yet need another system? We are very mindful of that as a, as a first point. Uh, but more importantly, it says, what are the jobs that need to be done and what data do you need to have in order to deliver that outcome for that job? Um, 
you know, as a technologist is heart, you know, going into any industry, you have to be very mindful and empathetic to the way that those industries have worked. Um, so what we've done as a company, we actually have a variety of reliability engineers as a part of the organization that have operated in a variety of plants and settings in different industries. That experience is significant. And if you think about it in kind of the pair programming mindset of being able to bring together someone who's operated in that environment, as well as someone who's able to think through a way to redefine that experience, both from a user experience and from a data science perspective, you have the best combination in the world. So I think that's something that we've learned over the years uh, to really harness uh, and, and be able to do that in a way that we can sit down and talk with someone who has spent their entire life proudly managing a particular steel manufacturing plant or otherwise, and sit there and say, what matters most to you? And also helping them to be open-minded to say, what would you want to see done differently? Because that's also the biggest problem we find is a lot of companies are simply replicating what their customers are telling them. And that is not actually allowing the organization or the industry to transform. So being mindful of that, but having that trust with someone who's been there, done that has, has been significant for us. Any suggestions uh, that you can give us on starting points for people that are really just coming into digital transformation and analytics in particular? Yeah. So I firmly believe that it's so often we live right now in a sea of technology and uh, many customers have gone through that hype and then that trough and then they're a bit disillusioned to say, is that actually helping me drive my digital transformation or do I get a POC that just stopped? And we take, we've taken it from a different perspective. That is, let's start with the economic outcomes that drive how a business works. So if I wanna think about that, it's not just simply looking at revenue and operating cost improvements, but it's saying, well, what are the operating conditions I care about that help me to make any of those top line or bottom line decisions? It might be improving reliability, availability, various types of operational KPIs. But with that, you know then there that you can back into a financial number and say, guess what? This is gonna justify that technology spend because I know it either immediately hits top line or bottom line improvement, as opposed to it's a hunt for an ROI. Um, I think that's for us. Um, one thing that we've seen over the years is, is the best way to start because if we can ultimately help a customer or potential customer uh, satisfy a business case and link it directly to the way they operate and their personal KPIs that they're measured on, uh, then I think we're helping them personally set up for success and, and feeling then that fear kind of go away, that they can believe that, that this is a, a great way to start uh, and something that the organization can get behind. Jay, thank you so much for your time. It's really great to see you and Uptake here at the 2019 ARC Forum. Great, Mike. Thank you for having us. We're glad to be here. Looking forward to, to next year. Thank you. I've been speaking with Jay Allardyce of Uptake at the 2019 ARC Forum in Orlando. Mm -hmm.